Hey there, Shooby Doodlers. How are you doing? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can use cotton buds um, to smudge drawings. Let me sharpen up this pencil. Right, at the moment, I am designing a book called How to Draw Ancient Greek Stuff Real Easy. And so one of the things I'm having to show is, you know, sort of how to draw in different styles a bit as well. So this is kind of about drawing in a pencil style. So that's actually rather thick, I think. So this is the rim of a bowl. I'm kind of imagining a kind of a kylix bowl. It's not really very ancient Greek. I'm just making it up as I go along. But, um, but you know, so you can kind of work out um, what you want to do like that. So I don't like what's going on there. So I'm just going to erase some of that, which I can do easily because I didn't press too hard. Um, if you press really hard, you're going to find it really difficult to erase lines later because you kind of dent the paper and the graphite in the pencil is going to end up in actually in the paper and you just can't get it out again. You need to draw gently on the surface so you can take the graphite off the surface easily with your eraser. So look, now I'm going to put this bowl kind of something like that. And then we need a little and a bit like that and then we're going to have the base like that and then across like that so i'm using an hb pencil and now i can probably draw this a bit more detailed and i'm suddenly becoming very aware that there's wood grain underneath this uh, picture and the grain is kind of dragging sharp point of this pencil in directions I don't want it to go but never mind that so there we have kind of our outline of the bowl so there are some bits there that you know I might want to get rid of so I can just kind of gently erase those kind of working out bits there and actually if I really want to get in there tight and close and erase those things an eraser doesn't have to stay this pristine shape forever. What you can do is you know, cut bits off it. You are allowed to do that so that I can get a sharp corner and sort of get into those little sharp corners and things like that where I want to erase like that and in there probably across there. So if I wanted to erase those bits. So there's a little tip about erasers. They don't have to stay the same shape forever. You can always chop one up and then buy a new one if you need to. Now let's see what happens if I start kind of shading with this. Not a lot because it's an HB pencil. HB pencils are quite hard. So your best um, efforts with shading are going to be with a softer pencil. This is a 6B and I'm just going to sharpen that up a bit. I'm thinking that I'm going to want that to be quite dark across the rim there and I think you can see it maybe picking up a bit of that wood texture from underneath like like a bark rubbing almost. Now you can get these professional blenders called stumps which are kind of paper wrapped up very very tight but but you know cotton buds work <laughs> just as well and they might be easier to get hold of. So we can sort of smooth that in there and then I think it's going to want to be quite dark underneath that rim where there's going to be a bit of shadow and then I'm going to so imagine the light is coming this way so most of the shadow on the bowl is going to be kind of underneath there so then I can use this cotton bud to smudge all that pencil that I've just done to get this kind of softer more kind of 3d photographic kind of effect and I can do the same kind of under here. Going to need a bit of darkness there and a little bit there. Put a bit of shade there. Put a bit more underneath there. And then I can sort of smudge all that in there. And it gives you that kind of. It kind of professionalizes it, in a way, doesn't it? It makes it kind of look. Uh, it, it gives it that kind of black and white photograph kind of look. More, more more realistic I suppose people would say you can use your fingers to smudge but the reason we try not to do that is because you have lots of oils in your finger and that's going to get into the paper and it's going to affect the drawing eventually 
So if you can keep your, your grubby mitts off the drawing as much as possible, then that's going to be good. Now you can also use an eraser. I'm going to use that corner there because that's a bit sharp. You can also use an eraser to kind of draw with as well. So you, you might want a little bit of a highlight in there. And we end up with lots of bits of stuff on there. Again, you don't really want to be getting your hands on there. So get find an old brush or something. This was made for me a long time ago. And then you can just sort of keep, keep adding and keep drawing until you kind of feel you're pretty much there and then keep smoothing. And I think we're going to need some kind of pattern across there, the top. So again, it's kind of lighter on the edges. So I think I'm going to press a little bit harder in the middle there to bring this pattern up. And I'm just going to do kind of a, a zigzag, a simple zigzag kind of pattern in there. And then I want a kind of a Greek bowlish kind of pattern. This is the pal, palmet <laughs> pattern. I can't remember. These are kind of palm leaves. So this is kind of face onto you, so that first one will want to be straight at you. The one next to it is going to be round the corner a bit, so we'll draw that at a bit of an angle and then all the others can kind of follow on from that and that's going to be going something like that. And again here we can do that. So that's the middle one and then we want these other ones sort of spreading off from it and we might see something coming in about there. It's all a bit wonky isn't it but it shows you how you can get that uh, kind of photographic effect and then I think you know because this is kind of the darkest area here you're going to want to keep making that darker and the edges a bit lighter and you can just keep adding and tidging and <laughs> blending with your cotton bud. Which, uh, gives it that look. And don't forget also that you can add those little highlights with your eraser as well. Just going to clean the dust off there and there you go there's a very simple little illustration which is getting on the inside cover of my book. So there you go how to use cotton buds to blend your drawings with and uh, I hope you enjoyed that and if you did make sure you keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel for lots more drawing stuff all the time. And in the meantime keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.